When it comes to running content in Albion Online, there is one that can be quite confusing when you first look at it. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Avalonian Roads. The Avalonian Roads are these portals that you see spawning up on the map all over on the Royal Continent as well as the Outlands. We picked a random spot with a random portal. We're going to teach you all of the basic blanket concepts that you're going to need to be able to run Avalonian Roads in a way that could become profitable as well as a great way to introduce you to Blackstone content. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is the actual portals on the map. So if you press your map and mouse over the portal, you can see the name of the road. And there are three different types of portals that you can see on the map. There are green, blue, and yellow. Green portals support two players going through at one time. Blue portals support seven players going through at one time. And yellow portals support 20 players going through at one time. Each portal that spawns on the map in the bottom right corner of the box, you see closes in 12 hours and 11 minutes. It is a randomized number. The number for the spawning for portals is randomized and there's no consistency between any of the portals. On top of that, if somebody goes through the portal, like this guy just did right here, a five minute timer just started and now only one person can go through the portal until that five minute timer is down. For green portals, it's a five minute timer for each person that goes through. For blue portals, it is a 10 minute timer. And for yellow portals, there is a 20 minute cooldown for each slot of a person that goes through them. So what we're going to do is we are going to jump in the portal and we are going to show you what's going on in here. So it is a black zone, so you will get the message. All right, now that we're in. So there are going to be these fancy looking symbols on the floor, and we're going to talk about those right now. This is the Avalonian Road, and if you've jumped in, in any of these portals before, you jumped in, looked at this, and you were like, what am I looking at? This is so confusing. I'm going to explain it all to you right now. So the first thing that we're going to cover is the portals on the map. So as you can see, uh, each portal has its own name that if you mouse over, as well as the portal that we're standing on is golden. The reason our portal is gold is because we just used it. So we get a timer free to use for the next four minutes and 25 seconds. That means it doesn't cost anything to use this portal. No, it doesn't take away any of the two person ticks that are on here. We can use this portal regardless to go back to where we came from. Next thing that we're going to go over is the symbols. And I have this fancy looking chart here that I'm going to put up on the screen that'll show you the different types of map styles the groups as well as the max resources that are in that area now i'm going to put this picture in the description so you can download it and use it to understand the roads better i'm going to give you a quick explanation so starting with the middle circle that has the little symbols that look like people these correlate to the color of the portal the easiest way to memorize these the green portal is one symbol two people is a blue portal and the group of people is the yellow portal now let's go over the second uh, circle. So we've got the inner one done. These symbols out here, well, the ones with the little dots over it, that indicates the tier of the area that we are going into. So when we see these symbols, we know that we're about to go into a tier five map. This is telling us that it's a yellow zone, tier five, and that it's a green portal. If we look back to where we came from, so we were at long, long shadow, it is a tier five yellow zone. All of these symbols mean for the type of tier, of the portal that you're going through but one thing to keep in mind though is when it comes to collecting resources in these areas because there are resources inside the wilderness paths as well as resource nodes that i will show you uh, further on in this video if we step into a tier 5 area there is a chance that we'll be able to find tier 6 and up you can find tier 8 resources in a tier 5 area at the resource nodes it's mixed up there's less of a chance to get a tier 8 resource in a tier 5 and there's more of a chance in a tier 7 as you move up in the tiers of the portal that you're going through the resources and stuff that are there have a higher chance of being higher level resources and but before we go into detail on that let's talk about the last circle on the outside and this is the one where it has all the weird symbols that might get kind of confusing but i'm going to break it down for you right now and it's going to be quite simple you, again we can look at this avalonian codex we have blue zones yellow zones red zones and black zones and that's the order that they are in so you see this bull with the horns the circle right next to it right next to the bull that means it's a blue then it goes yellow then it goes red and then it goes black so all you have to think about in the order is the safest to the most lethal areas we have this next symbol that looks kind of like a kind of like a t it is an avalonian carrefour the avalonian carrefour is a base type road and you can find your way to the realm world other Avalonian roads, and it has resources and monsters like these chests that we're going to talk about. This is the one that is connecting from the overworld to the Avalonian roads, and they're the only ones that connect them. The next one is an Avalonian corridor, and it's kind of like a connector 
between the Carrefour and other types of uh, these two. We have the Sanctuary and the rest. The thing with the corridor is it can have multiple Avalonian roads on it. Avalonian roads meaning uh, the portals. So it can have multiple portals if you go into a corridor. So what we'll read here is it says simple road. You can only find Avalonian roads in small amounts where you can find resources and monsters. There's a chance to be chests in here. There's a chance to be resource nodes. The next one is called the Avalonian Sanctuary. And the Avalonian Sanctuary is can only have one other portal in it to go to jump to another zone. And you'll find lots of resources and monsters in that dungeon, as well as you can find Avalonian dungeons inside. We have the last one, which is called the Avalonian Rest, and it looks like a bull with horns. This one is a very interesting one, and I'm hoping that we can find one right now in this video. The Avalonian Rest can spawn solo dungeons, like the ones you see in the open world, corrupted dungeons, hell gates. People can put down their guild hideouts there, and also the tier of the chests on the map like these colored chests are different tiers so we're about to journey out we're going to talk about one more thing before we start journeying out into the road together you see the silver cost so first let's hop back out of the portal and let's check our journey back silver cost we have a 2000 silver cost to teleport back and if you didn't know journey back costs silver we are 10 plus regions away from where we want to teleport to but it's only 2000 because we are in a yellow zone when you go into the Avalonian Road, it'll be 10 plus regions, but it multiplies to a bigger number. I'm not 100% on the math, so if you, any of you guys know, drop it in the comments so we can talk about it. In other words, the only time you want to teleport out of the Avalonian Road is if you are in like a dire situation, you are cornered, you might have got away from some gankers, there's a huge group. Like, to, long story short, I've never used this button in here because it's not worth it. The more loot you have, the more this is going to cost. It can get up to like 300k and worse depending on what you have. That's why you always want to find another portal to get back into the overworld and then use your teleport. Whether it's a black, red, yellow, or blue zone, you want to try to get out of the roads to teleport out with all of your loot that you're going to be getting. So right before we go out, we're going to talk about the different portals that you see inside of the Avalonian road and a quick trick that we're going to want to use. So we know that we are inside of a road right now. If you mouse over one of them, and this can go a lot more in depth. Again, this is a beginner's guide and we're just going to teach you enough to be able to run the roads comfortably and know what you're doing. If you see the name and it has a tick mark in it, so you see, I'm not going to pronounce the name, but you see how it's two separate words and then a tick mark in the middle, you know that it's an Avalonian road. This one is not an Avalonian road because it does not have the tick mark or the dash. This one has the dash, so we know that it's an Avalonian road. So while we're running over, we can talk about this solo dungeon you're seeing right here that looks like a little, looks like a little mound with a green portal on it. And the odds of this dungeon already being cleared are high, so we might not see the portal. But the thing with these is they act like solo dungeons, except they don't seal. So when you go in, the 90 second timer can go by. And if you didn't know, solo dungeons in the open world, once you enter them, there's a 90 second timer before the dungeon isn't visible to anyone else. And we can see, you know, this, this portal and we can go inside to check it out. This acts as a solo dungeon. So someone might have already cleared this and I'm not going to go too far in because we're not actually going to clear it, but it acts as its own solo dungeon. The difference with these though is they don't seal. So while you're running the dungeon, there's always a chance that someone else hopped in the dungeon and could be right behind you. So it can get kind of dangerous, but there's a 600% bonus on the mobs and loot inside of these dungeons. Doesn't even matter what tier of area you're in, there's always a 600% bonus. I recommend if you're doing an Avalonian road run for some profit and you see one of these, run them first before you get loot from these chests in the, in the open world. Because if you get them now, you're not going to risk being in there when you don't have your mount. You can get some good loot, maybe like 100, 200k, maybe even more than that. And then you can go try to clear some chests. And the chests act like, they kind of act like static dungeons in a way. There's bosses and stuff on the outside. You kill those mobs and then there is a chest at the end that rewards you, that you open up. It, it works the same way as like a solo dungeon would, except out here you can have your mount. And we'll run up to this one real quick. There's probably going to be mobs here. Okay, as you can see, there are mobs here. So this is the mobs that are inside, and at the end, there's going to be a boss that is guarding a chest. So we're not going to clear this right now. And a good way to check the tier of it, so this is a tier 4. You can just press on the mobs, and you can see what level they are. So these guys are all tier 4, which means it's a tier 4 chest. Uh, that, that means that every single chest in this area is going to be a tier 4, and they're all blue. 
So we're going to run down to this green portal. We're going to hop into another road. And I'm going to cut the video and I'll meet you guys down there. All right, we are here at the next portal. And if we look at the symbols, we are connecting to another carer for. This is the same zone that we are in right now. It acts as the same. It's a tier four and it's also a green portal. We know that. It's going to tell us that the connection is going to close soon. This portal is about to close, which means that we will have to use a different area to get out. But this is good that we went through this one. So we have this one connects to a road. You can see with the dash. You also see these resource nodes. And the thing with these is they'll have mobs as well as special resources inside. And this is where the gathering aspect of the Avalonian roads can get pretty good. If you bring tools out here and you are a gatherer at all, while you're running the green, blue, and yellow chests, you can be grabbing from these different nodes. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to jump into another one of these roads. And I'm just gonna jump down to this one. I'm kind of just running through, getting a little lost. I have no idea what each road means. Uh, there's no, there is correlations in the names and whatnot, but that's going to be for a later video when the guy gets real advanced on the roads. Right now, I just want to give you guys a blanket understanding, and I want to, I want you guys to watch me run through the roads and see how it works. There's also these little speed boosts that are really nice to give you a 70% speed boost on the ground. Let's come up here. And as we can see, this is going to be a tier five and it's another care for, which means it's another area that we're in right now. So we're gonna pop through that. And this is a much better example area that I'd like to show you. So we have these green chests, we have blue chests, and in some areas you will find yellow chests. Well, first let's talk about the green. The green can be soloed or you'll need probably two people, but most of the time these are very solo friendly chests. I clear these solo all the time, no problem. The blue chests, are more for groups of like three plus probably four you could clear it with two if you guys have enough item power and enough damage it can get pretty rough the only way you'd be able to clear it with one is if you had really good item power if you're running some monster stats you could probably clear these solo but they're pretty challenging with two people and they get even challenging too with three people as well if you have low item power so these are more of the group oriented chests these are the solo chests and then the yellow ones if you ever see them they are like raid chests so you need like 15 to 20 people to be able to run those and they're obviously they're a lot harder to run so you'd have to be in a guild that would be organized and they're planning on running stuff like that but as you look at these portals and you mouse over them you're like hey i want to get out of the avalonian roads i'm sitting on like 800 k i'm sitting on like a mill i'm ready to get out of the roads i need to figure out a portal to go through so we don't want to go through the one with the dash maybe we want to do dually fin but we don't know where that's going to spawn us maybe we don't want to spawn in the black zone for whatever reason we don't want to spawn in the outlands uh we don't feel safe spawning out there uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to mouse over this and it says do leaf fin. You're going to press the map and you're going to look it up. So we have dual leaf fin and it's going to show us where that is. It is a blue zone. So now we know by searching on the map that that is a blue zone. The trick is, is that you can see the name. You can press it on the search bar on the map and you can search the zone before you even go so you can kind of know where you're going to be popping out at and a lot of times you can use these avalonian roads to connect yourself to the outlands if you're trying to run outlands content but you don't want to run straight out of for example the fort sterling portal because it's a complete nightmare and there's tons of groups of five plus gankers sitting everywhere you can try to use these avalonian roads to find a portal that you'll spit you out in a random location in the outlands that's farther from uh, home locations like rests uh, rests in the outlands and like portals so you can kind of get farther away and you can kind of do some content out there a lot easier all right right here we have an avalonian corridor and we're actually rocking a tier seven so we're gonna hop in here and we'll kind of show you what's going on with these because these are kind of like a connector so we have a couple resource nodes we have group dungeons uh, we have a yellow portal and we have a regular blue portal so i'm gonna run up to the blue and yellow portal and i'm gonna cut the video and i'll meet you guys up there Okay, so we are sitting at the blue portal, but I checked the blue portal and we have a tier eight sanctuary right here. So we're actually gonna hop in this. It says it's gonna close soon, but we're gonna just hop in here so you can kind of see what a tier eight sanctuary looks like. So we have a dungeon here. We have a, um, I've actually never ran one of these and we have a yellow chest. So you can see what the yellow chest looks like. Uh, these look like they're probably Avalonian dungeons and we have uh, cropper collection spots that you can run to. And I can go check one of those out for you. I'm gonna dart through this path right here and I'll cut the video so you don't have to watch me run over there. All right, we are back and we are running through the wilderness as we speak. 
These are, they don't have speed boost in them. They also have mobs that you could kill and farm. But we are now at a collection point, and it looks like uh, there is some different types of, uh, there's some cotton right here. And there's a boar, but it looks like most of this was collected already. So it's looking pretty barren. But this is kind of like what, a, what one of the resource nodes look like that you'd be collecting, and you can... You know, run these portals, and while you're out farming chests or farming mobs, you can clear the collection zones as well. So we are going to work our way back up to the yellow portal, because we're going to try to find an Avalonian rest for you guys to kind of give you an idea of what you would see in an Avalonian rest. So we're going to go back into the corridor. We're going to circle back. And we're going to run down to the yellow portal. All right, we have gone through the yellow portal, and somebody died right here. Uh, but there's some dungeons. There's two yellow chests in this area, so this would be really good if you had a huge group running through. But it'd be very hard to get here just because you'd have to go through the blue and green portals. But there are also some collection nodes, but other than that, that is all that's in that area. So I ran around the roads for a little bit just to find an example portal for you guys. Right here, you can see the bull with the horns is lit up, and we have a tier 7. So it's going to be a blue portal. This is the Avalonian rest that I was talking about. So we're going to go through here and we'll show you kind of like what we're looking at when it comes to these Avalonian rests. So as you can see on the map, there's the resource nodes. There are guild hideouts. And in here, you can find multiple chests as well as one other portal. A lot of times there isn't another portal. This is kind of like a sealed zone. Uh, if you see multiple chests in here, like green, blue, they are usually different tiers, so it randomly spawns them at different tiers as compared to the other zones, all the chests in the area. If you check the tier of the mobs, they'll all be the same. As well as in these Avalonian rests, there are solo dungeons, corrupted dungeons, hell gates. It is the most similar to the overworld. It's kind of like the rest zone for guilds or for different players who use the roads as their hub. There's different activities and stuff that you can do within here. Like the solo dungeons and whatnot that spawn the same way that are up in the overworld. But that is the last zone that I wanted to go over. We went through the roads, the colors of the roads, green, blue, and yellow. We have the different types of chests that are green, blue, and yellow as well. Uh, we have the collection nodes and the kind of tricks you can use to mouse over the portals to see if it's an it is another Avalonian road. All you have to know is that if you are in the Avalonian Care For, which is the T looking symbol, that is the one that connects you back to the overworld. Every other Avalonian road that you are in will not have another portal that connects to the overworld. So once you understand those concepts and those symbols on there, you kind of know what you have to look for, as well as using your map to look up the different types of zones that you're in that you're trying to look for. But that is everything that we have for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And overall, I hope you guys learned something about the Avalonian Roads. They're great for solo and duo players. You don't get as many big groups in here as you do in the Outlands. I have, have seen and been ganked by a couple big groups while in the Avalonian Roads. But compared to the Outlands, it is unparalleled. This place is much more solo and duo friendly. And it is a great place to farm up silver as well as fame and try doing solo dungeons within these Avalonian Rests because you can also bring scrolls in here and proc them as well people can set up hideouts in here and it just it feels a lot safer running on the roads than it does in the outlands and black zone content again i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you all in albion online and in the next video